hi guys so it has been a minute i'm still here i'm still alive and as you can see i'm still living in ghana um a lot has been happening you know sometimes life happens and things don't go according to the way that you plan um but that's just part of it i guess um so i'm moving around quite a lot because i don't want to say still because um yesterday it rained and there's mosquitoes everywhere and i decided to that would be a really good idea to wear shorts um while i was doing this video which was very smart so i'm moving around so that they don't really get me so if you see me moving around that's the reason why i'm moving around so much okay but anyway 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 yes so um if you remember if you have been following me if you remember about two maybe even three years ago we started a building project um, it was our own project and it was um, a two-bedroom boys quarters house that we were converting and we actually wanted to convert it into two flats um, that didn't quite go according to plan because it turned out that we needed somewhere to live um, and so what we did was we moved into the two bedroom and we still had loads of work to do in it, but we were fine working and trying to do it. But obviously we have kind of outgrown the two bedroom um, because there is six of us and we cannot fit in a two bedroom. Never, never gonna work. But um, we've been managing for now, but we've been trying to extend the house for some time. Um, it's been a very long drawn out process. We are still not there, we're still working. Um, when it comes to building sometimes you need a lump sum of cash and so it's like when you start a project you need to build up your lump sum of cash do a bit of work and then you probably have to stop build up some cash and then go again so it's kind of taken us a long time and we went through a time where things were quite tough for us financially and so we weren't able to really work on the project for a very long time but thankfully things have started picking up again for us now and um we have been doing just that so i'm going to spin the camera around i can't turn physically turn the camera around i don't know how so i'm just going to turn myself around and hopefully you can see the building over my shoulder okay so as you can see the compounds right we've got lots of chippings here we have sand you can see the cement bags where they've still been doing work and behind me you can kind of see the building um so the top Oh, the, the yellow where you see the yellow basically is where we're staying at the moment that's two bedrooms and upstairs we have tried to extend so you can see there's a carport down the bottom that's where we're keeping our car at the moment and up the top is a four bedroom and we're working on getting another level on top of that four bedroom um, which will probably be two bed either one or two bedrooms up the top and some other rooms um, it's a long process it's a lot of money um, it's a lot of hard work but i'm going to try and take you very quickly through the building without making this video too long um just because because <laughs> all right hold on i'm going to take you through so yes uh so this is basically the front of the building we still have a door to put here and windows as you can see this was never meant to be um anything it was just an outside space where you could park your car basically for the two apartments but since we changed our design what we decided to do was actually make this into a room and make the house look like one so the the downstairs where we're living at the moment is basically um i guess you could call it a granny annex or it can just be open so this will basically be the main hallway now for the house so as you walk through here these stairs which were originally outside stairs we're going to convert these into um indoor stairs so as you come into the area um, you'll be met by this and you can go up. I'm going to walk very carefully upstairs because there is a lot of debris and stuff here. Um, we've just had so much going on. Okay, so bear with me while I walk through. If I'm out of breath, um, it's because um, I haven't been doing any exercise, <laughs> basically. Uh, right, I'm going to take you through. Okay, so this is the first floor where we are. As you can see, we've got the bamboo still holding up. Um, the ceiling we poured concrete on half the building very very recently okay so oh my gosh there's plenty of mosquitoes there see what i do for you guys i'm going to get bitten to bits here um this is basically essentially one room here i'm not going to go in there because i don't want to get bitten all over so i'm going to make this very quick then we have another room to the other side um which we haven't yet um concreted okay and then as you walk through I'm not going to show you all the rooms. Um, this will be our living room space here, which is filled with bamboo holding up the ceiling. And we're waiting for the, the cement to cure. Um, this is the top. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so unfit. Please don't comment on my fitness. I know I need to work on it. But anyway, 
So I'm going to go up again. I'm going to take you up to the next floor where we have just put the concrete. So bear with me. And I rush back through. Okay. Right, so this is the, the new steps that we've created to the, the next floor. Okay, so I'm going up the steps now. Right, and this is where we have basically poured our concrete. Okay, so I am on the top at the moment. So this is actually essentially going to be another level, um, which obviously we haven't put any blocks up for yet. It's literally just a flat surface and this is only half the house is actually concreted because what we decided to do was try to be as cost effective as we can and so what we wanted to do was buy wood for half of the building um concrete that when that's dry take off the wood and move it to the other side of the house so it saves on cost because buying the wood in ghana man it's not easy man <laughs> it's not easy at all so um this is it hope you can kind of see the the ground it's been about how long since we poured this concrete now it's been about two weeks two coming up to three weeks i think um and it's not as dangerous as it seems up here <laughs> probably looks a bit dangerous to you as i'm walking here but it's not i'm kind of looking at what I'm doing. okay i've turned the camera around to get maybe you can get a better view so this here is the part that we haven't yet concreted so you can see that the iron rods are kind of sticking out and this side of the bedroom is still exposed so we're hoping to get that done um, soon cash willing um, <laughs> and we're going to obviously lay some more blocks on here to enable us to um, make the, the, the last floor and so this is what we've been working on this is what we've been doing um, and it's taken a while it's taken a while it's not easy to build in ghana um building ghana takes a lot of patience dealing with workers that perhaps don't understand what you're trying to tell them to do um i'm saying it as if i'm the one that deals with them i don't Kwame does because i don't have the patience um so i, I don't do that i just look at the work afterwards and i'm like yeah great okay thanks um but yeah this is what we've been this is basically what we've been up to um not as much progress as we would have liked over the last couple of years but i'm hoping we will get there because we really really desperately need some more space and i think it's kind of time really but that's what's been happening but i will try and do some more videos and kind of show you guys what it's like um when the builders are here and keep you updated with progress and hopefully i'll have something a bit more to show you on the next video um until next time guys